Hello and hey, this is Zero Cook Reviews, and Halloween is around the corner, but today we're looking at the Alpha Max Dark Advent Crack and Dress Lania DX version. There are two versions of this kit. There's the DX version, presumably DX stands for Deluxe, which is what I have here. It comes with some additional parts, in other words, you'll be seeing Donovan later. And then there's the version that doesn't come with the additional parts. Ugh. It even sounds disgusting. It's called the STD version. Why would you buy something called the STD version? What the fuck is wrong with you? You might ask, what the fuck is wrong with me? Considering the last time I reviewed something from Alpha Max, despite how that turned out and that turned out, I've been told that for the kind of kit this is, it's actually quite good. So we'll see about that. Besides, the Dark Advent line is one I've had my eye on, for reasons. However, I did not buy the first one, because I like how this hair looks in the illustration, but I don't like how it looks on the kit itself. They are making a version with a different hairstyle that I like more, so I might pick that up. It's called the underwear version. Is that not what's already going on here? And yes, I do have the Egyptian one pre-ordered. Visually, that's probably my favorite of the ones they've made so far. Either way, this is the first one I bought, and this box is atrociously large, but understandably because this is a model kit. So let's talk about the assembly. This is the first time we're talking about a model kit. Shush. I actually had my friend build this for me, so I'll give you his footnotes. Despite having quite prominent under-boobing, the runners she came on do not feature under gating. Also, the manual is in color. Like, genuinely, being able to easily tell which parts are which is really nice for actually putting this together. And once this is actually together, this looks pretty good. It does look like a model kit, which is expected from something that's predominantly unpainted. It also feels like a model kit, although that's more relevant for later. I will say that I quite like this design. This is designed by Saitom, whose artwork I am decently fond of. Although judging by their previous works and certain inclusions with this kit, I'm going to have to assume that not every aspect of this was their idea. If you are unfamiliar, Saitom designed those characters in Shambro's Ultimate. They also did the character and mechanical design for Rock Quinn Suiho, which I know isn't as famous as Xenoblade 2, but unlike Xenoblade 2, I don't have to give fucking Nintendo money to experience it. Although I guess she is kind of a squid kid. Of course, you can take this off, and while I do think the girl underneath is well-crafted, much like Giorno with Haruno hair, it feels like something is not right. As if the laws of nature have been horribly perverted, although maybe not that dramatic. For this, Haruno Shiobana's fucked up, kinda like Lovecraft, in more ways than one. I'd actually be interested in like a Lovecraftian design, but I feel like it'd be more along this line than something actually wild and interesting. So I'm okay with mechanical white gold squid. This is actually a squid, by the way. Squids have ten tentacles. This is a squid. When you think of squids, you probably don't think about articulation, but that's what we're going to talk about now. I think it's quite similar to Kotobukiya's Megami device line in its range, but my experience with that line is quite limited, so take that with an appropriate amount of salt. Her chest also comes off pretty easily. I guess some people would say that's realistic. Actually, a lot of this comes off quite easily, and unlike a lot of these kinds of kits, the hair here is plastic rather than a more flexible material. Generally, the plastic quality here is questionable. And appropriately, this is where I question the people telling me this is quite good. I think with the context that this is their second kit ever, this is sort of acceptable. And it's definitely more acceptable than the Jig. However, there are a few rather significant improvements to be made with this line. But for now... Changing the faces is actually quite easy and stay in quite well. You get six with one being blank. You can attach these decals, but I can get off to this just fine. I'm definitely not just saying that because I don't want to bother attaching them. I mean, that's a lot of funny blue hands. It is a kit, so I don't see any reason not to, although quite a few of these are from the DX version. The people selling you this care about these as much as I do. There's only one picture of these in the promotional images. Also, if you take these off, it looks like she's missing something. 
because, you know, she is. And yeah, I'd rather have her use the mace, which is in most of the promotional images, rightfully so, because this looks much better. Its function is only as a weapon, so it doesn't look weirdly forced. You can also attach the jellyfish part to this, which I think looks pretty cool attached, but unattached. I have to question how these are supposed to be jellyfish. I didn't know what these were, but even after being told, like, a jellyfish? Really? They don't have the consistency of jellyfish, but neither do these. I don't know why I use that as a segue, but I guess much like these, it was an option. However, this part does have a squishier consistency. Cool. You could see these as weird bulbous nipple extremities, but I just see them as ball joints. I'm very tired. I, I guess I somehow forgot to fix this part of the script. They actually changed them to these meat tubes, which is honestly more disturbing, but from a practicality standpoint, this is an improvement. We all need our meat tubes. I, I've seen the fucking analytics, I, I know. It's bondage gay website. It's all male. You can attach the jellyfish parts here for a truly deluxe experience. Speaking of DX experiences, emphasis on the D. Whoever it is at Alpha Max who keeps insisting on adding phalluses to these kits, you are the finest of gentlemen and have both my gratitude and my respect. Boy, are these parts special. She doesn't just come with a cock, she comes with a multi cock. Say with me, everybody. Multi-cock. It's like a cock, but it's got cock surrounding it. What an exciting feature, unlike the... Stand. Okay, this is alright, but why is their Made in China written so obnoxiously large here? While we're on the subject of size... Guts, Mazinger, Ludens. Overall, I guess I can recommend it if you don't mind the problems and the price. Otherwise, uh, no. That's about it. Thank you to the patrons. Also, thank you to Photon Lab Reviews for filming most of the figure shots. And I'll see y'all next time. Oh, yeah,